Okay, so for the T-spine, you want to use a 14 by 17 um, lengthwise. You can have your patient um, standing or supine. And so we're just going to have her laying down. I'm just going to center my tube with my bucky, and you're at 40 inches. Okay, so we're also going to shield her. This way. Okay, so your centering point for a um, AP T spine is at T7. So that's midway between their um, jugular notch and xiphoid process. Another way, if you have like x ray vision or something, is you can kind of go off of their nipple line. Depends on what you like to use. And then I'm going to mark this with the right marker. You can mark it down here just as long as it's not in the spine. And then it's just a slight collimation from side to side and I'm open top to bottom. So you have to get T1 to T12. Your um, IR is one and a half inches to two above the shoulder. So you have a little bit of light here. And if you wanted to mark it up here, you can. So her breathing is going to be shallow normal breathing or it's going to be on suspended on expiration okay so that was for the ap now i'm going to have you turn and lay on your left side <clears throat> so her arms will come up kind of in like a sleeping position so they're at right angles to her body and we're going to have kind of make sure that she's still shielded and her hips are over one another so everything is kind of right in a straight line same thing with her shoulders you want them right over each other okay so your centering point is really similar to your ap t-spine it's at t7 so if you wanted to you could palpate for the inferior angle of the scapula which is about right there And I'm just leaving it, same thing, leaving it open top to bottom. I'm going to center not right down her midline. I'm going to be a little bit farther back. That way I'm not cutting off her spinous processes. So you have a little bit of light just in the back of her here. So a little bit behind her. If she has a little bit extra fat back here, you probably won't see this light. But you still want to center a little bit farther back than midline. You're going to mark it with a left marker, and I'm just turning my collimator tube so that way it kind of goes in line with her spine. So her breathing will be shallow breathing, same thing, or on expiration. And I'm just marking it right up at the top here. Okay, so for your swimmers, which is next for the T-spine. I'm going to change my IR to a 10 by 12. Just looking at a really small area. So we want a smaller cassette. So I have it lengthwise or portrait, however you want to call it. So what I'm going to ask her to do is bring the arm that's up. I'm going to have her bring it right down by her hip. And then I'm going to remove her pillow here. And she's going to bring that arm so she's kind of has her head and everything laying on it. So she looks like she's swimming. Okay. So the centering point for this is right at that cervicothoracic junction, which is basically you're just skimming the top part of their shoulder. So you're kind of centering it right where their neck and shoulder meet. So I'm just going to be a little bit farther back and I'm turning my collimator so I'm going in line with her C-spine. You don't have to have your collimation super wide open. For this, you don't want the whole spine. You just want that little junction, but enough to kind of give your radiologist um, a, know where, what point he's looking at. So I'm just gonna try to mark it, still with the left, since she's laying on her left side. I'm just gonna try to get it in there. And I'm still shielding. If she can't depress the shoulder down, You'll then do a three to five degree caudal angle towards her shoulder. So just a really, really tiny.
tiny angle. And that's just to kind of help get between her two shoulders. And you'll center right at that same place, kind of right at this junction here of the shoulder and neck. So she's just gonna, she doesn't have expiration on this one, she's just gonna stop breathing.